The most sophisticated and finesseful lure option for small mouths of yesteryear was the hair jig. Surprise, surprise. The most sophisticated and finesseful lure of the last few years is the hair jig, with an added twist or two. Let's see what's happening on this cutting edge front nice, on the smallmouth sea. Yeah, you know, one of the hottest things happening in smallmouth fishing the last five years is something that I actually have been doing for almost 40 years, and that's fishing hair jigs uh, for smallmouth bass. This is how I learned to fish for smallmouths on the Iowa Great Lakes back in the late 1960s, early 1970s, and when I first started writing about fishing in the mid-1970s. And my mentor, so to speak, was a guy by the name of Cap Kennedy who tied the Caps, Ro Caps Rockaroo, which is a variety of beautiful patterns. And it's been, like I say, it's been sort of rediscovered by all the hotshot uh, uh, smallmouth guys the last four or five years. There's a variety of different hair jigs that will work, but when conditions are tough, uh, it often takes hair, and now we have the combination of adding soft plastic. Here you go, buddy. This is my favorite pattern of all time, the Jim Special, and it's a bright little jig, so it kind of piques the smallmouth curiosity a lot of times. And again, when you're fishing for smallmouth, you want your retrieves to be just erratic enough um, that the uh, fish can't quite get a handle on it. He's curious, the smallmouth is a curious fish, so just erratic enough that they can, uh, that their curiosity is peaked, but not so erratic that they can't catch the thing. And of course, that's rarely the problem with the, with the hair jig. Light tackle. This is a river, a Fenwick River Runner rod, very light, and I like, it's got a lot of whoop to it. And that's how I like to fish, the hair jigs. And that is how Cap Kennedy taught us to swim these baits. In other words, you make a long cast, so then it's just, you just swim that thing along, you can use that rod tip so beautifully to make that thing swim, you can let it fall to the bottom just a little bit, and touch it on the bottom, but it's just such a beautiful action rod for doing this kind of fishing. And it's slow work, but when the fishing's tough, you will get fish to go on this one, you won't get anything else. There we go, fish on. That fish hit right by the boat here. Beautiful fish. Into the boot. Tell these guys are, the sun's starting to shine. They're getting a little bit barred up like this right here. They're on the rock down there. There's scattered patches of rock down there. Man, they're beautiful in the sunshine. Just an incredible sport fish. Probably North America's certainly one of the favorites. For this small bright jig, I've got gulp crawler tails that I'm putting on. Now I'm just trimming them about right there. So about right like that, just very short. And then it's just very simply, I fish them so the tail is actually flat. It's just simply through like that. And it has a beautiful swimming action in the water. And it also, not only, it, you know, it elongates the package just a little bit, but not very much. It gives it a little bit more glide. And I love it like that. So here we've got just a three inch power minnow and I've got that on a little bit heavier jig and I've got it rigged longer but you could rig it shorter too. This happens to be a quarter ounce jig head and so I've got it rigged about two and a half inches long but most of the time I probably fish it at about two and a quarter inches. This is, adds a lot of flash to this dark package, this dark hair in the water. You know, a lot of times just a little change of pace with the, the weight and color, move that jig along a little bit faster, give it a more aggressive swim, and he ate that good. Wow, this is a big fish, man. Look at that, solid four and a quarter pounds, big boy. Didn't feel that big at first. And there's the jig. I lost my plastic tail, I bent my hook, but all for a beautiful fish that's gonna push past four pounds. So a little bit change up, you can even change up, you can fine tune even a little bit with the, uh, with the hair. Wow, nice one. Back to go. We'll talk about some of the patterns. Hey, or something. Let me show you some of my favorite hair patterns. 
And as I say, there's all kinds of them being tied, but these are some of the patterns that uh, Cap Kennedy originally tied, and they're now being tied by RC Jigs, Milford, Iowa. But you've got the classic little brownie pattern right here that I love. That's what I just caught that fish on. You've got the blue tail fly, which is a, it's a wonderful pattern for walleyes. Um, you've got, and then my all-time favorite, which I started on fishing out there, that's a gym special. So, let's see if we can't get us one even bigger than that one. There we go. Got him. Whoa, man, look at there. Classic, classic fishing style. He's not giving up. This is as good as it gets for me. A giant fish and the opportunity to tell somebody something about a great technique. Wait till you see this horse and a half. Look at that. It's a giant, I'm not kidding you. It's huge. It's easily five and a quarter pounds, maybe more than that. 